Second up, we have N4US versus, versus Go Deer. Uh, he actually placed third yes, uh, last week. I will not be surprised. Man's got one button the SPDs. But not only that, uh, it's not just the S uh, SPDs. He's using Shinobi on top of using Progressive and using Daron. So he has access to one frame command grabs with single inputs as well as being invisible. invisible. Crazy. We'll have to see if N4US can take on the invisible grappler in this match right now. I mean, he's definitely got a good chance because D Dark plays definitely plays lame. He does, but he has to keep him focused. He has to keep the focus on Darun, otherwise he'll activate Ghost and it becomes a bad mix up. There's definitely tells of what he's doing when Ghost is activated. But yeah. All right, we're playing a little bit of the neutral Ghost game. Ghost is activated. It was, he's going to start dashing, turn invisible. Oh, nice, nice. Definitely Seen a lot of pressure. Mines. Oh, nice one button hit clipper. That was very good hit from Good 20%. Uh, and um, the low to close it out. See, you can see from the health right here that he's doing a really good job of being safe while also getting in that serious damage that he needs. So yeah. one thing that we notice is uh, Heads and Tails is activated, and now N4US has activation as the ability Hades. to activate Hades. So can tell the folks uh, what Hades does. You pretty much get super armor until you get knocked down or thrown or launched. So anything that knocks somebody up, like a DP. Nice. And that was a good use of Hades right there. Overhead of the super, let's go. Not, he was not expecting that at all. Oh, delayed fireball, or delayed bomb. Ooh, nice wide over here. That might actually do the trick in getting rid of... Oh, oh, nice. <laughs> good throw on the interrupt. What's he got He's for breakfast? Something else. He tried to parry. Oh, oh my head. Making a statement, N4US says, you are not going invisible on me, and I'm going to wreck you for it. it it's it's very really good to check for uh, the mines, definitely. He can't walk up with a ghost. He has to kind of jump over it. And if he does jump, the, the camera zooms out when he jumps. So, like, if N4US is uh, alert, he'll definitely grab him right out of the air, too. Run up SPD. Oh, jab, got, jab, jab. Got some serious pressure going on here. He's definitely not anti airing him. And he gets punched out for his troubles. Yeah, Godier definitely took it to him that time. He was just being a lot more aggressive, and that was exactly what he needed. Definitely but, set up more mines. Wake up super. Gets blocked, no punish. <laughs> Good. Oh, he tried to go he tried to go for the cross up shenanigans. Oh. Oh, good confirm. confirms. Illusion oh, breaks him out of the combo way too late. And Hades actually got him out of that too, but no, Godir wasn't having it. Yeah. As you can see, Hades doesn't doesn't protect you from throws. So what do you think N4US is going to do in order to make that adjustment? He needs to throw more mines out. Yeah, I, I agree with you. He might need to change a little bit more of the space. Oh, it also looks like he's making Going a back to change. Blair. Oh, very good choice from N4US. I like that idea. Go with what you're familiar with. Very true. And it looks like that's exactly what he's going to do. Round one, five. Definitely more options with uh, frame shot rackers that Blair has, but it's a real, it's pretty bad because like you either have to commit to it or he's gonna SP to you free. That's rough. Oh, nice, nice sweep. Good. 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 And he activates Ghost. So the he just walks up. Doesn't even activate Ghost. He just walks up. That's all he really needs. Oh. oh, he's already yeah. realized from that, last... That was a good wreck up from Max Range because he can't SPD you. That's true. That's Superman very... punch. Hey, parry. Oh, nice parry there. Good throw on Ghost. 
Whoa! This guy's feeling ball. Oh, he went for the overhead and he jumped over it. No, that was a bad choice. I mean, he had to do it because 15 seconds left. He had enough meters to do the damage to close it out. He had to make a save with the super. That slot was not safe. Ooh, random slides in midair. Oh, Superman punch on the whiff SPD. Darwin's going crazy with Ghost. One button hit confirms. I like it. Oh, he almost got the full conversion. Low short in the super. Illusion breaks him out of trouble. Oh my god. And for US whiffs the throw. Goldeer responds with an SPD to close it out. Round three. And for US starts off with a low. Goldeer answers back with a super confirm of his own. Goldeer's getting a lot of low checks on uh, M4US's dash ups. He's gotta look out for that too. Good DP on his ghost. Hades activated. He has armor on his uh. Nice run up throw. Even on life. A little bit more. Oh, overhead with the Hades. Good block on Super with the throw. The punish. Superman punch. One more. Air to air reset and the throw will take it. And for your mounting a comeback. Good uppercut punch. Nice block on the sweep. Got a small punish. Go deal with the SPD. All that work for. Oh, nice jump down on the SPD. Back throw. Oh, Lord. Go deal answers with a super. He wakes up with uppercut soup. Dive, dive kick super. Locked on the low. Oh, nice. And for grab. US will throw. Oh, he no. tried to anti with the slide and he got SPD for the game. Ah, uh, Godair takes Go it this time. Godair is very, very strong. Sending N4 US in the losers. What a disappointment. But that was still a very good game there. I mean, you can see that N4 US is making a lot of adjustments in the second part of that round. But you could also see the strength and tenacity of Godair just constantly moving in and keeping him from doing anything at all. He's also got several good reads with uppercuts and like jump out of SPDs. Mm -hmm. But he, at, at, at the same time, he wasn't really uh, expecting to be able to confirm off of it. That's why he didn't really, he jumped out, but he didn't get the full conversion. That's true.